Hi, my name is Ash Ogata, and I've been playing classical guitar for about 10 years now. I've studied with the Shenandoah Conservatory Arts Academy, and I've also done private lessons and master classes for students before. So today I'm here to start the introductory series to classical guitar. This course focuses around the classical style of playing. So this course is not for people who want to learn acoustic guitar, electric guitar, jazz guitar, because those are going to be played on different guitars and with a different style, different techniques. So this is strictly for people who want to learn classical guitar. That being said, if you don't have access to a traditional classical guitar, because this style is usually played on a specific type of classical guitar, you are welcome to use an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar. However, the spacing of your fingers and uh, the actual strings themselves and the sound will all be different. But however, if that's all you have access to, feel free to try and learn this style on one of those guitars. But this is just a warning that you will want to get a classical guitar if you do pursue classical guitar in the future. I also want to talk about recommended listening for beginning classical guitar players because, let's be real, classical guitar is not an extremely popularized instrument. You don't often hear people saying, oh yeah, I heard this great classical guitar piece the other day. The other day. So when you're just getting into classical guitar and you really want to hear what it sounds like, what the style is, I recommend listening to Fernando Sor, uh, Hector Villalobos, V-I-L-L-A dash L-O-B-O-S, some of the Barrios Mangare. Honestly, if you type in classical guitar music into YouTube or Spotify, you should be able to find some of that genre. Also, I want to talk about, for those of you who have access to buying materials to get started with guitar, this is completely optional, but some of the series that helped me when I was first starting out with guitar is the Hal Leonard series. Those books are great for beginners, and when you're looking for beginner pieces, something that's really great is the Royal Conservatory Music Development Program series. The books look like this. They have level books. I started out with levels one and two, obviously, and that's what I definitely recommend. But these are full of pieces that are designed for the specific skill level. Also, I want to talk about some good books for exercises. One book that really helped me is the Mauro Giuliani's 120 Studies for Right Hand Development. Again, we're going to talk about right hand exercises later, but I'm just putting this in the beginning in case you want to get these materials for your own benefit. Also something that really helped me was sight reading for the classical guitar. It looks like this, it's by Robert Benedict. And if you look up classical guitar position reading books, I would also recommend getting those for when you're first starting out. The piece that we are going to be using for this introductory series is a piece by Fernando Sor, who's a very famous classical guitarist. And it is called Study in B Minor, Opus 35, Number 22, or just Study in B Minor. I will have sheet music here, and I will also try and put sheet music in the description of the video, a link to it, in case you cannot access the sheet music. But if you look up online, Fernando Sor, Study in B Minor, Opus 35, Number 22, you should be able to access a version of this online. So throughout these next couple videos, we are going to be walking through how to play guitar using that specific piece. So I will see you in those next videos.